first discovered my passion in music by being raised in New Orleans, Louisiana. Culturally, there's so much to be inspired by, and I really do take pride in calling that home. Even after everything that we've been through as a city with Hurricane Katrina, me and my family having to pick up and literally transition and me being so young having to move away from everything that I knew, there's still so much beauty in it even when I go back now. It's the people that really make up what the city is. You know, that's the only place that I ever knew. So music for me has saved me in so many different ways. We all lived in the same household. My parents were traveling a ton, so my grandmother would like drive me to school and we'd be listening to like Tina Turner. I feel like I really have her to thank for the taste in music. She used to make all my dance costumes. I was actually a competitive dancer as well. It was my first inspiration which led me into falling in love with singing. I think that Normani's experiences, she's been through so much. Through Hurricane Katrina, dealing with her mother, being a cancer survivor, and I think that family is a really important piece to the whole puzzle with Normani. It's the core of everything. I was involved in a ton of different things because I was also homeschooled. So that was kind of my outlet and my way to really be able to express myself. For some reason, dance was the one thing that really did stick. And through that, I fell in love with singing and taking vocal lessons. My family, they were really, really supportive. Even if we like financially didn't always have it, they made a way and they never let me know. So I'm just really grateful that they see the day that their hard work has also paid off. Not just mine, but I've literally consider it our reward. They actually inspired me to audition for The X Factor because I didn't always believe in myself. So being thrown for the first time in front of the rest of the world, it was a really big milestone for me. There hadn't been a girl group coming from a reality show like The X Factor that had really made a dent on the pop charts. People forget that when Fifth Harmony broke out, there wasn't really another U.S. girl group that had gained that kind of traction. And to see them kind of immediately connect on social media, taking a little bit of time to get to radio, taking their time to really develop that fan base, you could kind of see taking hold of the pop fans. I always wanted to be in a girl group. It means more. I couldn't imagine not having those girls next to me being introduced to the world. I just think that it's something really special and beautiful about like a sisterhood and you being able to go through that experience with other people. We had a friendship before we worked together, which I feel really helped, and I think that that was what the audience saw and why they fell in love with us as a group, not because of the talent that was there, but because of the sisterhood that we had built ourselves. You got the sense that they supported one another, that they cared about each other, and they cared about the fans. There was so many times that the odds were against us. Many times that we cried, many nights that we had nobody but each other to, to rely on and hold on to. understanding that we had and the respect that we have for each other and being able to recognize okay now is the time that we all deserve our individual and solo endeavors. We believe in each other that much and we're confident in ourselves enough to, to be able to break away. Oh, you know.